I apologize in advance for the shakiness. I am doing this on my phone so that it can be like up close and easier for me to maneuver and all that stuff. Anyway, I'm out of breath. This is a review on the Ultimate Sticker Collection and it was $8 at Costco. So, yeah, here we go. This is more like an in-depth look at everything. So, first page, Be Forever. And it literally has little things here. That's so cool. For all the characters. I love it. I'm so excited to put stickers in this. You guys have no idea. So then it actually has like a, you know, description of Kaya or the girl before the character. And he put stickers in. And it tells you about it. I always take time to respect the earth. Good for you, Kaya. She looks very sweet there. Oops. Oh, Athena. It literally has everything. I think kindness is the best medicine. I agree, Josefina. This book. Today I'll keep my family strong. Agreed. Samantha! This is such a great book. I'll have to do another um, real like look at it when I put the stickers all down. Everyone needs help and I have plenty to eat. That's me, Samantha. I always help everybody out. Uh-oh, I'm skipping page here. There we go. Rebecca! Her lace dress. I have it. When life yells, action! I'm ready to roll. Kit. I never let a few bumps in the road spoil my fun. Good for you, Kit. Mary Ellen Larkin. So you literally like put the stickers in the little holes and it tells you like what is there. So like this is the hairstyling set and the hairstyling set goes here. So you find the sticker of the hairstyling set and you stick it right here. I'm not one of the crowd. I'm one in a million. Melody! And make sure to end every day on a high note. Oh my god, I love that one. That one's good. It's like there's little silhouettes. And each girl has her own colors, too. Okay. And last but certainly not least, Julie. Actually, she is least in my opinion. Oops. I do not care for Julie at all. I'm not that sorry about saying it. I'm bright and sunny on the outside, but on the inside, I'm a real fighter. Me! That is me, but I still don't like you. I still don't like you. And then after that, we have the pretty park scene where we can put some of our extra stickers and make a park scene with all the girls. And then we have Leah Clark, Girl of the Year 2016. Unfortunately, this is the only Girl of the Year they did. And that's really disappointing to me. But, you know, whatever. I want to go everywhere and see everything. Agreed, Leah. Agreed. So then we have the rainforest little scene with Leah's hut. And you can use the extra stickers again to decorate it. And there's like a sloth hanging from the tree. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And there's a Marigay. A Marugay, or however you say it. 
The turtle is not in this scene, but that is because we are in the rainforest and not the ocean. That's understandable, but I love how they included them in that. That's so cute. And then we have Truly Me. I can achieve anything I set my mind to. Very generic, but still very inspiring. Oh, she's so cute. Whatever new hobby and or challenge girls take on, they will always give it their all. Oh, I cannot read. Whatever new hobby or challenge girls take on, they will give it their all and always try their hardest. Love, love, love. And then we have the great outdoors scene and we can put more extra stickers down here for that. And then these are all these stickers pages are single-sided because of the fact that they're stickers so that's why it's so thick when there's really not that much to it but you will see when you open the sticker part of it that there are pages with nothing on the top and little labels on like everything and then there are pages that say extra stickers the extra sticker pages are used for scenes such as this great outdoor scene these stickers that have, you know, labels here and have nothing up here are actually for, like, the important things like this and this and belong here. Stuff like that. You guys will understand it if you get the book. It's pretty easy to understand. Um, oopsie. For $8, I absolutely recommend this book, and I think it's going to provide some great fun to me to put the stickers in. And I will absolutely be ooh, adding on to this video um, when I have all the stickers in. But in the meantime, bye for now. Hey guys, so I got the stickers in to the book, and the first thing you're going to notice is I finally took the price tag off. So yeah, we are going to do a much more detailed look at this now. You can see Hopi. <laughs> Here we go. Starting the page. Okay, so the first, I have to get myself situated here. I'm sorry. Okay, the first page says, Be Forever. Meet the inspiring Be Forever characters. Each represents a different period in history and has her own unique story to tell. Whatever challenges they face, the Be Forever characters stay hopeful, determined, and true to themselves. Strengths that tie children from all times together. So then we have all the stickers here. So we have Kaya from 1764. Kaya loves and respects all of nature and has a courageous spirit. Then we have Josefina from 1824. Josefina is a caring soul with a big heart. She dreams of being a healer. And then Addie from 1864. Family is the most important thing to Addie. It gives her strength. Then we've got Samantha from 1904. Bold and adventurous, Samantha is always there to lend a helping hand. Then we move over to this page and we got Rebecca from 1914. Rebecca is a porn. Per porn. Just gonna let that have that moment of silence for a quick second here because... That was bad. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Take two. Rebecca is a born performer who loves to entertain everyone around her. Then we have Kit from 1934. Kit is smart and creative. She can make the most of any situation. Then Mary Ellen from 1954. Mary Ellen is a dreamer with a head full of big ideas. Melody, the newest Be Forever character from 1964. Melody believes in fairness and equality. She uses her voice to make a difference. And lastly, we have Julie from 1974. Julie isn't afraid to make take on a challenge and make a few changes of her own. So then from there, we go into the detailed character pages. So we have Kaya from 1764. Growing up in the northwestern United States, Kaya is an adventurous Nez Pierce girl, or purse. Nez Pierce? Pierce? I don't know. Nez Pierce? No, no. Percy? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's bad. 
girl with a deep respect for nature. Kaya dreams of being a leader for her people, and she finds out that making mistakes and learning from them is an important part of becoming a strong person. So let me have pictures. We got Kaya in the winter time at night. This is winter months. During the cold winter, Kaya wraps up in lots of cozy layers. Her thick hood, boots, and cape keep her warm, and it shows the thick hood, boots, and cape. And then we have modern powwow. The Nez Perce still hold powwows today, which include feasting and dancing. Girls wear modern outfits like this one to the ceremonies. And then there's her pouch, necklace, and woven bag, which I'm pretty sure are her accessories. And then we've got her teepee. It says cozy teepee. Let's picture the teepee. At night, Kaya snuggles up under warm blankets in her teepee. The teepee is easy to take down and pack up when it's time to move on. Basket, mat, and meal. Loyal Tatlow. Tatlow is a working dog as well as Kaya's companion. When the tribe moves, he helps by pulling heavy loads on a wooden frame. There's the wooden frame. And then Kaya's quote says, I always take time to respect the earth. And then there's a big picture of Kaya on the side. Nez Perce men and women wore their hair long and slid into two braids tied with cords like Kaya. See? And then we have Kaya's horse, Steps High, is an Appaloosa, a breed of spotted horse. Steps High has a foal named Spark Flying. And then there's Steps High Sal, which is super cool. And then we move on to Josefina from 1824. Josefina is a girl who uses her heart to heal others during a time of great change. When Americanos, or people from the United States, start coming to newly independent New Mexico for the first time, Josefina learns to be open to new ideas while keeping her family's traditions safe in her heart. Those are her hair accessories. We have her Christmas outfit. That's her original Christmas outfit. I don't think they sell that anymore. Josefina is talented at mending clothes. She sews a new dress for the most important holiday of the year, La Noche Buena, Christmas Eve. By the way, if I pronounce any of this wrong, I apologize in advance. Party dress. It's time for fun in Santa Fe. They don't, I don't think they sell this anymore either. It's time for fun in Santa Fe, the town close to Josefina's Rancho. Josefina is ready for a fiesta with the brand new dress and her mother's lace fan. I thought that came with that. Maybe not. And then there's Sombrita, her goat. And then her, her hair looms. Oh, there's the, there's the fan. Josefina brings out these family treasures only on special occasions. The fan, shawl, and necklace once belonged to her mama. And then we have a big Josefina. And her quote is, I think kindness is the best medicine. Outdoor cooking. I love this picture, by the way. It's so cool. Josefina helps out by preparing bread for dinner. She cooks the loaves in an outdoor oven called a horno made from mud. And there's a close-up of the horno. You can actually buy this or used to be able to. I don't know if you can, still can or not. Dresses in the 19th, in 19th century New Mexico were colorful. They were also designed for hard work, both indoors and outdoors. And that's the dress that we are talking about here, her meat dress. So you can kind of see how they're doing that. Nina, or ni, ni, Nina, 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 I, I don't know, doll and treasures. Bedtime. When it's time for bed on the rancho, Josefina wears her comfortable night shift. Then it's time to snuggle under the covers. Buenas noches, good night. Addie Walker from 1864. Courageous Addie keeps hope alive at a time when many families are separated by slavery in the Civil War. When Addie and Mama escape from slavery to freedom, they're split up from Addie's papa, brother, and sister. Addie never gives up hope that her family will be together again. School clothes. Addie is proud to wear this beautiful new dress to her school spelling bee. She is even prouder when she wins first place. There's her lunch pail. Her sweet desserts. Addie's first birthday in freedom is a reason to celebrate. Addie's family enjoys delicious treats together, and those are some of the treats that they enjoy. There's her Sunday hat from her Sunday best, which is displayed up here. Then we have her Christmas dress. Addie can't wait to wear her new check dress to church on Christmas Day. The dress was a gift from her mother's employer. Then we have Big Addie up here. And Addie's quote says, Today I'll keep my family strong. Like Addie, most young girls in the 1860s wore dresses and bonnets every day. Addie adores her pretty new royal blue dress, which I still don't think should belong to her because she's, she was a slave and she only got expensive things 
hand-me-down and this looks like a rich girl's dress I'm sorry not that sorry um, her bonnet she could possibly wear though but the gingham looks kind of nice I, I, don't know. I just don't think that it belongs on her for her story like I'm sorry wooden trunk I don't think they sell this anymore they might I have no idea Addie keeps all of her favorite things safe in this trunk in her new home. There's even a secret compartment for Addie's most special treasures. Wait, I need that now. <laughs> I need to look this up. I like secret compartments because secret things are really awesome to me. And I put this under me as bed for sure. I love, love, love secret compartments and stuff. If there's actually a secret compartment in this, I will be so happy. I'll have to look up this up on YouTube. There's Ida Bean, her rag doll, her book, and her lamp from her bedtime accessories. Family quilt, that's her bed, her Be Forever bed. Addie's colorful quilt shows the faces and places that represent her family. Addie sleeps under the bedspread every night. Samantha Parkington from 1904. Nothing can stop Samantha from helping a friend in need. Even though she has a big heart, Samantha sometimes breaks the rules when she's trying to lend a hand. Samantha learns to find her own path between old-fashioned ideas and brave new ones so she can help others without ruffling too many feathers. And there's Samantha's Christmas dress from Be Forever. Helpful friend. That's such a cute picture. Samantha's always ready for an adventure and to help a friend in need. Even furry pals like her adorable Cocker Spaniel, Jip. Special treat. Samantha wears a pretty pink and purple frilly dress for a special day out. She is visiting Tyson's, an elegant ice cream parlor in New York City. That's a pretty picture, too. There's her serving carton treats, which I wish I could have bought, but they were so expensive for what they were. After our painting in the gazebo, I love that sticker. Outdoors is Samantha's favorite place to play. She especially likes painting outside in the gazebo, just like her mother used to do. And there's her painting set. And there's Jip. School rules. Samantha tries to behave, but she is not afraid to bend the rules. Samantha and her friends tuck secret notes for each other into the curls of their desks. That is an old outfit that is retired and the desk is retired as well. Samantha's special treasures, aka her bedtime accessories. In the early 1900s, young girls like Samantha wore stockings, shiny shoes, and lacy dresses, aka this ensemble. Big Samantha. Samantha's quote is, everyone, everyone needs help and I have plenty to give. The last thing we're going to read is pedal power. Samantha is ready to ride off on fun adventures with her new bicycle. I wish I could buy that too, but it's just too expensive for what it is. With the sun hat, basket, and stylish bloomers, Samantha is ready to go. I'd rather buy Samantha's bed than her bike, to be honest. Come on. Trying to turn the page and it's not working. Okay, page 13, there, no. There we go, finally got it. Rebecca doesn't want us to talk about her. Rebecca Rubin, 1914. Lively Rebecca always shines, whether she is on or off stage. She is ready to take on any role that will brighten the lives of others, especially when it means she can sing, dance, or act. But Rebecca learns that acting means more than just performing. It means standing up for what she believes in, too. And there she is in her lace dress, which I, like I said, have. Sabbath dinner. Every Friday, Rebecca and her family come together for a special Sabbath dinner. They enjoy traditional challah bread and... S oh, crap. <laughs> for being a Jew, I do not know how to pronounce some stuff, and it's horrible. Um, Ceylon tea? I, I, I don't even know. There's her little kittens. Dreams of stardom. Rebecca's pajamas keep her cool on hot summer nights. She's ready to fall asleep and dream of being a star on the silver screen. Pretty costumes. I, always, I love that picture too, you guys, by the way. If Rebecca wants to shine on stage, she must, mm, she must rehearse. Rebecca's dresses, wow. Rebecca dresses the part by wearing costumes that look like they belong to film stars. There is her tea time set. And then there's big Rebecca. Her quote is, when life yells, action, I'm ready to roll. Pearls were popular in the early 1900s. They were worn as jewelry or used to decorate outfits like the pretty buttons on Rebecca's coat. Those are pink. Pearls aren't pink. So I don't know what you're talking about. But um, I understand the concept. 
There's her menorah and a dreidel and some coins. I own the original set of this, not the new one. Actually, I think this is the original one. Because they did something different with the candles on the new one. Movie set. I own this too. Rebecca's cousin Max takes her to see a real movie studio. She's excited to see a director's chair and a megaphone. There's her phonograph and records. And then there's her little settee and her movie star dress or whatever in the phonograph again, her kittens. After Rebecca's first role in a movie, the director gives her a phonograph as payment for her work. She plays popular records on it. Then we're here with Kit. Clever Kit puts her talents to the test when her family falls on hard times during the Great Depression. With creativity and a can-do attitude, she can solve almost any problem. Along the way, Kit learns that family and friendship are worth more than anything else she could ever own. From 1934, a.k.a. the Great Depression. Here she is in her cute little outfit. Homegrown. Kit's family makes finds it hard to make ends meet when her dad loses his job. The family learns how to raise their own chickens and grow vegetables. There's her book, Pennant and Radio. Robin Hood is a big thing for Kit. Treehouse. I wanted that so bad when it first came out. And I love the picture, too, with the starry sky in the background. So pretty. Even though they didn't have much, Kit's dad surprises her with a treehouse made from scraps. Kit adds all the finishing touches, a.k.a. the sign and the posters and the window and the <laughs> and there's Grace, Kit's dog. Birthday party. Without money for a party, Kit throws an outdoor picnic for her 10th birthday. Kit has a great day with all of her family and friends. My dog is crying. I might have to pause this and then come back because I think Hope needs to go outside. Good news. Kit is tired of hearing sad news about the Great Depression. She sets out to uncover happier stories and print them in her own newspaper. I love that picture too. There's Kit's typewriter set, which I want. And a reporter kit, which I also kind of want. I kind of want both of those things. And then there's Big Kit in her meat outfit. And Kit's quote is, I never let a few bumps in the road spoil my fun. In the 1930s, people made clothes from whatever fabric they could find. Sometimes they even used the fabric from printed feed sacks. Which is why I don't understand how Kit has that. But I mean, I guess technically her mom could have found that fabric and made it for her. But I don't know. It seems a little... Yeah, she's from the Great Depression. I don't know. Scooter fun. Kit uses it... I just got this recently. I got this outfit. It's so pretty. Anyway, Kit uses an old orange crate to make a scooter. She and her dog Grace wheel around town on the lookout for news stories. All right, and we're going to pause and come back because somebody needs to go outside. All right, we are back with Mary Ellen Larkin. Mary Ellen is bursting with energy and pie-in-the-sky ideas. No matter what anyone else is doing, Mary Ellen always follows her heart instead of the crowd. Even though her big ideas don't always go according to plan, Mary Ellen is happiest when she stays true to herself and her own beliefs from 1954. There she is with her little seaside diner uniform. Poodle skirt. She's often stuck with hand-me-downs, but Mary Ellen can finally keep up with her older sister's fashions in this glamorous new poodle skirt. Rock and roll, the jukebox. Mary Ellen plays her favorite rock and roll records on the jukebox for just a few coins. She loves pretending to be a performer. And there's her TV set and her sofa bed. School lessons. I love that picture, by the way, you guys. Geography and science are Mary Ellen's favorite subjects. She is not a fan of handwriting, as she is left-handed and has to spend time practicing her cursive. Because when you're left-handed, you actually, like, move your hand over what you already written so you can smudge it. There's big Mary Ellen. Her meat outfit with accessories. Her quote is, I'm not one of the crowd. I'm one in a million. Fashionable girls and ladies in the 1950s wore gloves to add an elegant touch to their outfits. Pretty bows finished off a stylish hairdo. A.K.A. her meat outfit stuff. There's Scooter, her little dog. He's so cute. Seaside Diner. 
Mary Ellen loves hanging out with the Seaside Diner with her friends. They eat tasty burgers at the counter and compare their lives to TV shows because TV was apparently a very big part of the 50s. Hairstyling set. Ice skating. That's one of my favorite pictures right there. Mary Ellen can't wait to go ice skating when she visits her grandparents in Georgia for Christmas. Mary Ellen glides across the frozen pond in style. And I want to get that outfit and the accessories someday because I think they look really cute on the dolls. But I don't know when I'll do that. Come on. Here we go. Melody Ellison, the most new and recent historical character, aka Be Forever character, because they got rid of the historical name and it still pisses me off. But anyway, Melody lifts up her voice to speak out for fairness and equality for African Americans during the Civil Rights Movement in Detroit, Michigan. When she works together with people from all backgrounds, Melody learns that even the smallest voice can make a difference. There is her accessories. Block party. Melody, her family, and her neighbors come together to celebrate their community. At block parties, they have fun playing games and sharing treats. And this block party set is super expensive for $68 for just this stuff. It's ridiculous. There's Melody's pajamas, which are so cute. Her slippers are in pictures, which is kind of interesting. There's the Freedom March stuff. Melanie attends a Freedom March for Equality. She's inspired by famous civil rights movement leader, Martin Luther King Jr. Fun fact, I was inspi inspired, obsessed with Martin Luther King Jr. as a kid. Like literally, 10 year old me was obsessed with him and read about him and stuff because I liked reading about assassinations. I was a weird child. Bo, the family dog is named after Bo Jangle is named Bo Jangles after the nickname of a famous African American performer. But Melody calls her mixed terrier Bo for short. So cute. Recording studio. When Melody's brother, Dwayne, records some songs at a real studio, he lets Melody join him as a backup singer. I so badly want that studio. So so badly. Melody's quote is I make sure to end every day on a high note. There's a big Melody in her meat outfit. During the 1960s, it was fashionable for girls and women to style their hair so that it flipped outward at the ends, a.k.a. That's my Melody's hairstyles like that. Song sheet, microphone, and tambourine. I need that set for Mia Head. Sunday songs. I want her dress, too. Melody loves singing with the choir at her church on Sundays. She always puts her on her best dress, a headband, and white gloves. And then there's her radio. The other outfit, I want this outfit from Melody's collection, her fancy dress or whatever, and then her play outfit. Those are the two outfits I want of Melody's. And then I want the microphone, and then I want the studio. I'll probably get the microphone. I probably will never get the studio. That's going to be one of those big things that I'm never going to get, but I'll just always want and wish for. And lastly, we have Julie Albright from 1974. Julie from San Francisco isn't afraid to stand up for what's right and fight for what she believes in. I'm trying to straighten this out. There we go. Even though she is strong, Julie struggles with change when her parents split up. I feel you, Julie. My parents are divorced too. But Julie discovers that making a few changes of her own turns out to be the best thing to do. There's her cute little psychedelic lunch box with her lunch. Her epic egg chair, and I love this picture of her room. It's so well styled. And that is her old bed. Fun fact. And her old pajamas, which is interesting. Julie loves new design, new ideas and funky far out designs, like this egg-shaped chair. It is built-in speaker so Julie can relax with her music. Or you can listen to music too. Her record player, which is so cute. Groovy ride. Julie organizes a car wash to raise money to help save endangered bald eagles. She can't resist hopping in the front of this cool convertible. Um, Julie, I don't think you can drive. You're like 10 years old. <laughs> Furry friends. Julie's friend Joy has a job as a dog walker after school, and Julie often helps. The dogs can be a lot to handle, but they're plenty of fun, too. And there's her pet bunny, Nutmeg, which is so cute. And I've always wanted Nutmeg, but again, I'm probably never going to get Nutmeg. Here's Big Julie. 
Julie's quote is, I'm bright and sunny on the outside, but on the inside, I'm a real fighter. And that is very, very um, big to me. I resonate deeply with that. Anyway. 1970s clothes were often decorated with flowers and peace symbols. This colorful style is sometimes called flower power, which is major for the 70s, which is why this is the thing. Bell bottoms were also big in the 70s. But I'm going to give you guys a disclosure. First of all, I don't like Julie's doll. I don't like Julie's story. And I just, her collection, I don't really care for either. So I would not be upset if you were tired. Actually, I'd be really happy because that'd be like the best case scenario for me because everyone else I kind of like. Um, the other thing is, I do not believe that the 70s are history because lots of people who were alive in the 70s are alive now so it's not that long ago it was 40 years ago yeah 1976 was two years ago i mean two years ago it's 1978 you guys i'm just kidding um it was 40 years ago this year 40 years ago was when 1976 happened like seriously ridiculous 40 years Some of your moms are probably 40 years old. Do you think they're historic? Um, no, I don't think so. Julie's Bicycle. America celebrates its bicentennial 20, 200th birthday in, in night. I'm going to start over. <laughs> Julie's Bicycle. America celebrates its bicentennial 200th birthday in 1976. Julie's patriotic red, white, and blue bike is perfect for the occasion. Do they still sell that? I don't remember. That is the only outfit of Julie's I own. This one right here. And I love it. I adore it. And I would never give it up. But that's the only one I've ever wanted from Julie's collection. Just that one. There's Julie's accessories. I kind of wanted those for the head wrap. But that's it. Her sleepover fun set. Ball player. I love that pic too. That's cute. Only boys are allowed on the school basketball team until Julie fights to be included. She knows she's just as good a player as the boys. And then you turn the page. And we have a pretty park scene. There is so much to see and do on a beautiful sunny day. What will the girls and their pets get up to in this grassy park on such a gorgeous afternoon? And it says in the bottom right corner, use the extra stickers to create your own scene. Well, I have not done that yet, but here is what the park looks like. It's empty right now, but 20, pages 22 and 23 are taken up by this park scene. So turn the page, me of Leah, girl of the year 2016. This is the only girl of the year that they included in the book. Animal lover Leah Clark is so excited when she gets the chance to travel to Brazil on a family trip. I would be too, oh my gosh. She can't wait to learn all about the different animals that live in the rainforest. That's what I want to do, too. On her adventures, Leah discovers lots of new things about herself and the world around her. And there she is in her pajamas. So cute. Snorkel gear. This is the hybrid, by the way, that I mentioned in my review. Uh, putting the sticker on is when I realized that it was not a hybrid at all. It was just Leah looking extremely, like, pale. And her hair looking extremely dirty blonde-like for whatever reason in this picture. You cannot deny that it looks like Elizabeth with Leah eyebrows and Leah eyes. I'm sorry. You just can't deny that. And uh, the snorkel gear is a pair of flats with foam. And then a, like, Orbit 200-piece gum lid with elastic and a straw. In like a marker cap so I think this is from like the Leah um like create set like craft set that I found at Costco in my Costco um vlog which is interesting oh big oh boy nothing can keep Leah away from swimming in the wow Nothing can keep Leah away from swimming in and exploring the ocean. Her snorkel mask lets her absorb, uh, observe underwater life. I would be the same way. Nothing can keep me away from swimming in, in the ocean either. There's the sea turtle. It's just so cute. Fun fact. I've always wanted to see sea turtles hatch on a beach and then like go into the ocean. That's something I'm going to do one day. It's, gonna, it's on my bucket list. It's going to happen. 
There's her beach accessories with the little turtle and egg, turtle egg hatching, baby turtles. I almost, I almost want it for this reason. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get it just for the turtles because I don't need everything else. Rainforest House. This rainforest house is the perfect spot to study the environment. Leah can work on her laptop, then relax on, in her bunk or comfy hammock. Is the tablet a laptop? Because I, last I checked, they were different things. All right. Okay. Under the stars. That's an awesome picture, too. At night, Leah sleeps in her rainforest house with a view of the starry sky. Hope. Shh. She soon gets used to noisy nocturnal wildlife. Here's big Leah. Leah's quote is, I want to go everywhere and see everything. Traditional Brazilian festival costumes are bold and colorful. Leah gets into the festival spirit with a brightly colored dress, a.k.a. her meat dress. Hope, knock that off. There's the baby sloth. And there's the Brazilian grill from her, uh... Her hut. Kayak adventure. Leah can see the clear tro colorful tropical mm. Leah can see colorful tropical fish through the clear bottom of her ocean kayak. There's even a compartment for her camera. I love this picture best I think of Leah's. Ready to explore. Leah is all set to go on a hiking trip through the rainforest with her big brother Zach. Hope. She brings a pair of binoculars for spotting wildlife. I apologize, you guys. I'm going to go take care of her. I don't know what she wants. I am so sorry, you guys. That dog is being very difficult right now. Truly me. Girls today love to express themselves in lots of different ways. There are so many fun things to do. Joining in with exciting activities, the girls can challenge themselves, have a good time, and learn something new. This picture of a truly me in a cheerleading outfit. Gymnastics. Ribbons, hoops, beams, or bars. There are many pieces of equipment to master in gymnastics. One thing is for sure, though, girls always try their best. Yes, they do. Flute practice. Learning to play a musical instrument takes patience and determination, something girls have plenty of. Not all girls. <laughs> I am not one of those girls. I am sometimes very patient, but in some circumstances, I'm not patient at all. I get bored really quickly. <laughs> ballet. A black leotard, pretty pink tutu, and ribbon ballet shoes give a sweet look to a budding ballerina. I'm sorry, but does this look our generation like to you? Yes? Okay, good. I'm not insane. Now it's time to shine in the spotlight. Skiing. Bundled up against the cold and whizzing down snow-covered slopes, skiing is a great way to have fun in the winter. And it's good exercise, too. Sierra Rain, my little angel. Then we have number 44, I think that is, in a pretty swimsuit with a snorkel mask and a towel and sunscreen and flippers. She's going to do something fun. The Truly Me quote is, I can achieve anything I set my mind to, which is very generic, but as Truly Me, it has to be generic because the girls are supposed to be the ones that make up what their doll is like. You choose whether they're a ballerina or a basketball player. So, I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, it has to be generic. Snorkeling at the beach makes for an exciting day out. Girls know that it's important to always wear sunscreen to protect their skin. Yep, although we don't like putting it on, we know it's important to be reluctantly do it anyway. Band rehearsal. Oh, I remember when all these were out. Good times. I wanted this for the longest time. I think I officially said, decided I didn't want this anymore. Anyway, starting a band with friends is a great way for musical girls to express themselves. Get ready to rock out on the stage. That reminds me of Hannah Montana for some reason, that last sentence. I don't know. Basketball. She looks so cute in that uniform. Oh my gosh. Sierra Rain again. Girls are proud to put on their Actually, that's a lie. Wait. Maybe it isn't. 
That's either Sierra Rain, who's number 30, or number 64, who is Justin's Jujubee. And I don't know who the heck that is. Actually, I think it's Sierra Rain. Anywho, getting distracted. Girls are proud to put on their jerseys and be a part of a team. Working together is the most important part of any sport, along with having fun. Yay! And we have gardening. I love this picture. It's so cute. Spring is full of flowers, fresh air, and fun. Gardening in the backyard is a great way to connect and learn connect with and learn more about nature. It's very Laney like. And we have two pages of Truly Me. Better together. Life is always better with friends. Friends make the good things great and the hard things seem easier. Whether they're a part of a team or a club or just doing what they love together, girls today can have double the fun with the help of their friends. True. My friends make my life and I don't know what I do without them. And you guys know who you are if you're watching this. I love you. You're the best things that ever happened to me. Love you. Um, number 33 again. So super cute. Summer sports. Fresh air and fun is the perfect combination. Whether it's playing tennis or soccer, there's nothing better than being outdoors with friends. Camping. Camping out under the stars with best friends is the perfect way to spend the night. It's even better when furry friends join in the fun. There's the diabetes care kit, which I need to get. I don't know who's going to get that kit. I don't know who's going to be diabetic yet, but someone's going to get it. We're going to have we're going to have somebody have diabetes and it's going to be cool. Anywho, toothbrush, soap, and towel set. Slumber party. Hold on, focus. There we go. Watching movies, telling stories, and sharing secrets. A slumber party with friends is a great way to spend the weekend. So cute. I love the little bouquet bed. And I wish I had gotten that nightstand when I had the chance to. Sigh. Service dog. So cute chocolate chip. Looks like he's holding a gold coin. Come on, focus. That's interesting. I wonder why he's holding a gold coin. It looks like guilt. I want guilt. I can't wait for Hanukkah. <laughs> I love Hanukkah. Pet picnic. When the sun shines, a picnic in the park is a real treat and a great way to celebrate a pet's birthday in style. There's a birthday cake that's actually a human birthday cake and not a doll one, which I found really interesting. But AG posted a picture of this on their Instagram a couple days ago, and I found that even more interesting. Here's the science fair set. Right next to the picture of the science club. I love that picture, too. Curious students love to learn all about the world, science, and space. There's so much to find out. And then we have a big picture of a big doll. Whether, whatever new hobby or challenge girls take on, they will give it their all and always try their hardest. And then the last picture in the book is this great outdoor scene. Girls today love spending time outside. Fill the scene with the girls playing in the grass, having fun with their pets, and enjoying the beauty of nature. And then it says in the corner, use the extra stickers to create your own scene. For some reason, I feel like I missed the scene by Leah. And I did. Rainforest life. Leah discovers all kinds of amazing wildlife on the doorstep of a rainforest house. She can even spot hidden animals using her very own pair of binoculars. And then in the corner it says use the extra scissors to create your own scene. So you have this rainforest life scene with Leah's hut in the rainforest. And you can see the Marigui cat and the sloth in the picture. The turtle's not here because, as I said in my opening video of this, it's, it's the rainforest. The turtle's not going to be at the rainforest. The turtle's going to be at the beach. So we've got the rainforest with Leah on pages 26 and 25, which is after Leah and before Truly Me. And then we have the park. Two pages of the park. Two pages of Leah's wildlife. The park is 22 to 23. We have 26 to 27 with Leah. And then we have page 32 with the great outdoors with one picture, which kind of sucks. I really wish they had just done both stuff because they had the room but they didn't they cheaped out and only gives one so that kind of sucks but you know whatever you have three you have three little scenes to use all the extra stickers for now here's what i was left with after i put all of the stickers into the book 
These are the, not the extra stickers. I have not used any of the extra stickers yet, and you'll see that in a minute. So now these like stickers that are left here are considered extra stickers because I did not put them into the book. Like it, the pages are very, very much empty, so. Wow. Wow. Okay. Kind of interesting to kind of see that. Hold on. I am. Here we go. And then there's that page. And then this is where we get into the extra stickers. So we have this extra stickers. We have. I went too far. These extra stickers and these extra stickers and we have these teeny tiny extra stickers that I was ooing and aahing over in my opening video for way too long and I apologize for it. That was a run on sentence if you don't even know what that is. There you go. It's a perfect example. And then we have more extra stickers and more extra stickers and these are all duplicates of the ones you put in the book it looks like actually. It's cool. Wow, and more extra stickers, and more extra stickers, and even more extra stickers. We like extra stickers. So we have pages on pages of stickers. Stop it. Okay. More extra stickers, and more extra stickers, and then we have more extra stickers, and more extra stickers, and... More extra stickers and more extra stickers. You guys should count how many times they say more extra stickers and then put it in the comments. That'll be interesting to see if anyone does it. You might usually don't. That's okay though. More extra stickers. There's Isabel. Hi, Isabel. And then we have more extra stickers. And then more extra stickers. And then that's the end of the stickers. So yeah, it's it's such a cool book. I really, really like it. It's apparently $12.99, but I got it at Costco, so I only paid $8 for it. Yeah, it was it was worth it for $8. Bucks. I'm really glad I got it at Costco instead of at Amazon, because I don't think it's worth $13. I think it's worth like $8. But yeah, it's a very good book. I 100% recommend it. Um, It was fun putting all the stickers in here. I really enjoyed doing that. I sat here for like an hour and a half putting all the stickers in the book. Um, but yeah, if you want this book, I totally say you should get it. Because it's a, nice, it's a fun book and I liked it. And if you like stickers, I totally say you should get it too. It's a ton of stickers. More than a thousand stickers. And I believe it. Did you hear all those extra stickers? How many times is it extra stickers? Extra stickers, extra stickers, extra stickers. And this is all stickers. Do you see this? This, that's all stickers. This is everything else. But that is all stickers. All this white is stickers. That's a lot of freaking stickers. So yeah, if you like stickers and you like American Girl and you like this book, I totally say you should get it. So anyway, I talked for way too long. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.